All right, on this day, April 8th, back in 2009, the shipping giant AP Molar Maersk said a container ship with the U.S. crew of 20 people was seized by pirates. This is about 300 miles off the Somali coast. Now, while the capture and rescue of the Maersk, Alabama, was dramatic enough to get the Hollywood treatment, yeah, complete with the wholesome Tom Hanks portraying the titular Captain Phillips, the incident was part of a larger groundswell in maritime piracy that sucked billions of dollars a year from the global economy. In the days surrounding the Alabama's capture, pirates also hijacked a British-owned cargo ship, a French yacht, a German container ship, a Taiwanese trawler, and a Yemeni tugboat, just within a matter of days. It was a spate of 199 hijackings that year alone around the Horn of Africa and the Western Indian Ocean. That's according to the EU Naval Force, which monitors activities in those waters. That was up from just 23 attacks the previous year. Now, the number of incidents, which include both successful hijackings and failed attempts, continue to climb in 2010 and in 2011, holding above that 200 mark. The Alabama's capture thrust the issue into the spotlight and onto television news. The dramatic seizure on April 8, 2009, was followed by a quick retaking of the ship by the crew hours later, but that then was followed by a four-day pursuit of those pirates who had kidnapped Captain Phillips and fled in a lifeboat. The ordeal did finally end on April 12th when the U.S. Navy sharpshooters killed three of the pirates. The fourth, Abdullahi Muz, he would, that was the one depicted in the film telling Tom Hanks that I am the captain now. He was captured alive, brought into the U.S. for trial, and in 2011, sentenced to more than 30 years in prison. The high-profile trial, as well as the aggressive patrolling by government vessels that ensued after that, led to a dramatic drop in the number of attacks, which by 2014, fell into the single digits. Now, there is concern, though, right now of increased activity in that region. At the end of last year, the first ship hijacking in the waters off Somalia took place since 2017. Four weeks ago, a Bangladeshi bulk commodity carrier was boarded by armed men about 600 miles off the coast. And just a few days later, the Indian Navy had to be called in to rescue 17 hostages from a separate ship in the Arabian Sea. Now, while it's difficult to peg the exact cost of piracy to the economy, the World Bank did take a look at it back in 2010, saying that when the shortest shipping route between two countries is uh, through piracy-infected waters is looked at, the additional cost of trade between them is equivalent to an increase of 0.75 to 1.49 percentage points in total ad valorem trade costs. You put that in plain English, what does it mean? That means that in 2010, when you had about $1.6 trillion in global trade traveling along the Somali coast, piracy cost the global economy in absolute terms an estimated $18 billion that year alone.